Today I'll teach you how to call the web API using jQuery Ajax in ASP.NET Core MVC. So let's start. First I'll open the startup.cs class. So here I am adding a namespace newtonsoft.json.serialization. Now let's move to the configure services method. Here I am calling add JSON options and I am setting the serializer for the JSON serialization. I am making use of Newton soft JSON serialization in this project. The reason being that the default serializer convert the property names to camel case. For example, if your property name is first name, then when you are accessing the property through Ajax on client side, then it will be changed to small letter first name like for example the capital letter f in the property will be changed to small letter f so in such cases it becomes very difficult to access the properties and let's say on server side you have capital f and on client side you have small f so it leads to inconsistency in the code also so to avoid that i am using newtons of json serializer which solves this problem and makes it easy to use so this completes the startup.cs class code now i'll be adding a model class to our project i'll right click then add then class now i'll give it a name as person model now i'll be adding some properties to the class As you can see, I have added two properties, both are string properties, name and date time. Now I'll be adding a controller to the project. This is a web API controller. I'm selecting the empty option. I'll give it a suitable name. So here I'll be creating an action method. And this particular action method will be called through jQuery Ajax function. This particular action method will accept an object of person model class. And also return an object of person model class. As you can see, I'm setting the current date time in the date time property of the person model class object while the name will be sent from the client side. So basically the date time will verify that the call is successful and the date time is from the server itself. As you can see the person model class object is returned back to the client. Here I am decorating the method with the HTTP POST attribute and then I'm setting its root. This particular root will be used to call this particular method through jQuery Ajax call. The root will be set in the URL property of the jQuery Ajax function. With this, we have completed the web API part. Now I'll be adding a simple controller to the project. I'll be adding an empty controller. I'll name it as home controller. There is no requirement of any code in this particular controller. So I'll directly add a view to it. And inside the view, we'll do the jQuery part. As you can see, I am adding an empty view. So here I am starting by adding a text box and this particular text box will accept the name which we need to send to the web API controller. The next thing I am adding a button and this particular button will be used to execute the jQuery Ajax function. So now we can proceed with the jQuery code. I'll start by inheriting the jQuery library. After that, I'm adding script tag and inside which we'll write the jQuery code or in other words, the JavaScript code. Inside the script tags, I'll start by adding a jQuery document ready function. Here I am referencing the button and I am assigning it a jQuery click event handler so that when the button is clicked, this particular event handler is triggered. 
So here very first thing I'm creating a JSON object and inside this particular JSON object, I'll be storing the value which is entered by the user in the name text box. Since we are receiving the object of person model class, so here also we have to create a similar object. Hence here there is a property name which is very similar to the property in the person model class. Now I am creating an Ajax function. The very first property of the Ajax function is type. Since we are doing a post call, so I am setting the type as post. So the next property is URL property and here I'll be setting the root of the web API method. The third property is data. Here I'll be passing the person object and after that the jQuery Ajax function is a standard what we use Hence, I'll not go into the explanation part. If you need to know the details of how a jQuery Ajax call is made in ASP.NET Core MVC. Please refer to the video on the right hand side. Inside the success event handler, I'm accepting the response, which is nothing but the person model class object. And then I'll be displaying the data of both the properties that is name and date time separately inside an alert message box. Then comes the failure and error event handlers of the jQuery Ajax function. So I'll just move fast forward in it. So with this, we complete the jQuery part and in turn, we complete our project programming part. Now we can run the project and see it in action. So in the text box, I'll enter my name. Now I'll click on the button. As you can see, my name as well as the current date time from the server is displayed using JavaScript alert message box. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.